Thank you so much for being with us today. I think it's been a few years since you came to New York, so it was great to have you back this year for two films. Um, this one, which I like to call the first day at work, um, it's a day from hell for her. <laughs> um, you have a lot of familiar films, but you go a little bit further, maybe in the um, vaudeville, you know, like the a lot of humor with a relationship, even though the man is not a very nice character. Uh, you have a voice of reason with Kim Min Hee. So can you talk a little bit about like working on this film particularly and changing a little bit like some of the relationship angle that you have? I'm, I'm not sure I got your question. <laughs> Just talk about the film. <laughs> When I was uh, about to start this film, I I knew this guy, a uh, uh, real actual owner of this uh, publishing company. So I went there and we had a drink, and he talked about his uh, habit coming out of his uh, house very early, and. He said very, very early, <laughs> like to 5 a.m., something like that. So I w got curious, so I suggested maybe I can go to your place and follow your route from house to the work. So that's what I did. And, and then I think that day, that early morning, I. I come up with some kind of a uh, uh, beginning, and, and then I just follow through after that beginning, and the, the form uh, gradually got itself its own form. W was you running in the morning, or you were just walking with him? No, he was just coming to the office, but uh, he talked about his life a little bit, and then. You, it's life and relationship and work and oh, things he, like this. He didn't have this kind of relationship. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also want to ask um, a question to your uh, director of cinematography. Since you've been working together for a few years, I think since Tell of Cinema. So can you talk about your work relationship? You know, like there's a lot of specific trick that we see with, you know, like the zooming in, the, some of the way the shots are set, so everything comes from you, every, everything comes from director Hong, or do you work together and divide the, the work? Mm. So I've been working on about 30 feature films and um, there are very different types of genres. There's action film, there were comedies, there were drama films. Uh, but um, working with uh, director Hong Sang Soo uh, and the way the films are shot is completely different from other types of movies that I had experienced. So when I was first um, offered uh, whether I wanted to work with him, I was quite concerned whether I would be able to handle it. So actually my first um, uh, f uh, feature film was uh, Women is the Future of Man and so this was um, actually shown in the 2004 New York Film Festival so I, it's 14 years since I've been here so this is you know, quite I think a coincidence. 사실 그첫 영화 때의 기억이 이제 나는데 그때 우려했던 대로 너무나 그 작업 방식을 제가 상상하지 못한 상태였었기 때문에 
처음에 그때 이, 이 사람은 계속 작업을 못 하겠구나라는 생각을 했던 기억이 있습니다. So that was the first film that I had worked together on with um, director Hong and um, as I had uh, worried um, it was a very very different type of experience working on a film with him and it was quite um, something that I had never imagined so I remember thinking oh I don't think I can continue working with him. But after a few weeks, it was longer than the production time. It was probably a few days ago. After a few weeks, after a few days, after a few days, it was very different. 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 이분은 이쁘다 그러는 거예요. 그래서 왜 이쁜가를 제가 그 다음부터 생각을 하게 됐죠. 그래서 한두 카트 세 개, 네 개, 영화 이렇게 끝나면서 아 제가 이제 또 다른 영화 세 개를 발견하게 된 거죠. <웃음> um, so um, as I was involved in the process for a week, at that time the production period was quite long. It was um, over a month and I was working, as I was working with him, you know, four days pass, five days pass, and I did uh, again realize that director Hong Sang Soo is indeed very different. Uh, but it was different, but I could relate to each and every cut. Um, and even from a cinematographer, uh, photography point of view, it didn't seem they were beautiful shots, but he kept saying that they were beautiful, and I couldn't understand why he was saying that. But after three, four days, and as I experienced, I could understand and relate to what he was saying, and um, after the film uh, experience, I was now I, my eyes were open to actually a new world of cinema. 사실 이그 그 후가 이제 음, 저희 이제 일곱 번째 영화가 되고 이제 같이 작업을 시작한 한 14년 되잖아요. 그래서 사실 바로 얼마 전에 또한 편의 영화를 저희는 찍었는데 음, 진짜 그 이제는 그 전에는 이제 이제 줌이라는 것이 저희가 한세 번째 영화 때부터 나왔는데 그 그런 카메라 워크에 대해서 그 사실 처음 시작할 때도 조금 서로 좀안 맞았었어요. 사실 전 줌이 굉장히 중요한 카메라 워크 중에 하나라서 그 줌의 속도라든지 줌과 연관된 어떤 카메라 워크가 한 카트에 굉장히 중요하다고 생각을 했는데. <웃음> 그때 저희가 조금 안 맞았던 점이 있었었는데, 예. 근데 바로 직전에 찍은 영화에서 그 완벽한 어떤 것을 제가 얻었어요. 사실 에, 줌 인아웃 타임을 갖다가 그 직접 주거든요. 근데 그 전에는 제가 기다리면서 혹은 대사를 외우면서 그 타임에 들어가야겠다라는 생각을 했지만 지금은 거의 그 일치감을 줄 정도로 그 타임이라든지 줌의 속도라든지 텐의 속도라든지 이런 모든 것이 그 한순간만 이제는 한몸 있는 것 같은 그런 느낌이 받을 정도로 굉장히 그 이제는 너무 자연스러워진 거 있죠. 그래서 사실 바로 찍은 그한달 한 전에 찍은 작품에서는 저도 너무 만족스러운 거 있죠. 야 이게 진짜 우리가 이제 하나가 된 건가? 하는 이런 생각이 들 정도로. <laughs> and um, when we look uh, at um, the, 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 this film, The Day After, this is the seventh film that we have um, worked together on. It's been 14 years since we've uh, worked together. And um, we recently um, shot a, a film. <coughs> and um, this is uh, the third uh, film where we actually used a lot of the Zoom um, camera work. And in the beginning, um, Zoom is a very important uh, part of the camera work. but we, I don't think uh, uh, we really had a common understanding uh, on uh, what it was and what needed to be uh, done. It's very important in terms of the timing and, and what to do, but I don't think we were completely on the same page. But the very recent film that we finished, um, I think we have reached a new level of um, common understanding in terms of the zoom in out time. Uh, before it was hard to know the exact timing, so I would wait for him to give me uh, a sign or I to, uh, try to remember the lines to know the exact timing. But even without that clear direction, I think we were almost precise and exact in the timing in terms of the 
timing, zoom in, out, uh, pan, and, and uh, whatnot. So I, I think that we have now reached a new level of uh, understanding, and it feels as if we are indeed a one. Um, and it's become very natural, a very natural process. And so it was a very um, uh, satisfying uh, experience for me. So who decided on the black and white um, for this one? You didn't? No, I did. Mm -hmm. And who talks the most on set? <laughs> Actors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so acting is wonderful in, in the film. Uh, I would like to big uh, round of applause for Kim in here, who is a wonderful actress, and it's really nice to have her here. <laughs> She's also in the other film we're showing tomorrow and Monday on the beach at night alone. Um, so anyway, I was wondering, since we don't have a lot of time, there was any question from the audience? Yes, you. Wait, wait I think there's a microphone. Yes. Uh, I just, I love the, the first section of the film, which is made up of, of very, very small fragments, little scenes that are hard to place into a timeline and even when you see the rest of the movie, which you can kind of arrange, they remain outside of that. Um, and I was just wondering if you could talk about that and um, maybe the importance of Renee to your work, if there is some, especially Je Tem, Je Tem. Who doesn't know the Alain Rene film? <laughs> We have to show it to you. <laughs> I think I saw his uh, Hiro, Hiroshima Monomo. Yes, Hiroshima Monomo. Can you answer the rest of the question? About first sequence? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just how that came together. I just wrote in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, we shot it uh, the early morning. Uh, that's all. Just came came to me like that. Um, maybe I can add this. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, just I I write in the morning, uh, early morning, uh, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. and then I write maybe four or five scenes, or whatever comes to me in the morning, and then I finish all the scenes I wrote the same day. So th this process is very uh, crazy process. <laughs> uh, um, but I I just it's my temperament I think. I cannot explain this. I like that situation where I have to write. So I can put some explanation why I did or things like that, but to be honest, that just uh, just comes to me. I accept them. I like that that way of working. You know, I don't I don't like to have this long period where I can prepare, think it over, without actually contacting the material I am going to use. So I prepare the locations few locations intuitively and then I have a few actors who are willing to work with me for three weeks or sometimes two weeks and then I ask them not to have any schedule during that time and I let them I will I tell them I will let you know as soon as I, I what I will do with you and so, so I let them wait till around seven a.m. or 8 a.m. and I, I let them know I will ask them to come or not. So, so I have this place and I have these people and I have a weather and, and I write and whatever comes to me I accept for me the of course there are uh, moments where my intentions come in but um, I try to push away 
the main thing, the important thing should be moving through this, uh, what is given. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but do you write in, in, like, when you write, do you write everything in sequence or you jump from scene to scene in sequence? Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry because we have to run out of the theater, but I want to remind you that uh, we are showing both film tomorrow and you will all be back tomorrow and on Monday, and you're also doing a director's dialogue on Monday evening, so where maybe you will speak more at length of the process of the film, maybe not give us secrets, but maybe a little bit more explanation on, you know, working on film. So thank you so much for thank coming. You. <laughs>